Confirm your fabricated assemblies are built to design with improved inspection analysis in FieldLink version 6.9. So with FieldLink and the X series scanners, you can do traditional like tape tape measure like measurements as far as like distances of the stairs or how big of a landing that is. Um, but what can be difficult is actually measuring like curved areas. And what FieldLink and the scanner allows you to do is compare um, the scan data back to the model and really start to see how good do we build that curve to fit what was actually designed. So here you can see we have the scan data with a section box um, just turned on for that area. So it'll collect everything there, but I'm only focused in on the stair, not the entire shop. And then I will generally play with the um, model viewing settings just so I can essentially interpret what's on the screen there. A lot of times that means I'm doing it in blue outline mode and um, then I would align the scans to the model uh, to make sure that when I run that inspection, it is good. I could align these scans to the model with a component-based setup, measure three points on the stairs, and then start to essentially run that inspection after that and collect more scans. But generally what I'll see is um, that's the scans are, or the, those points would be arbitrary. So I would honestly just manually align it like you see here. So I'd best fit this and then a lot of times I would do this a couple times. Um, I'd go into the inspection, make sure my, my fit was good. And then if it wasn't, delete the inspection, go back and realign it again and, and try it. So I can get it really precise. Here you can see though, we've already aligned it pretty well and it is pretty tight. Um, with FieldLink 6.9, what we've improved is this scale bar on the left. Um, that was the first improvement. We can actually see where those points are in and out. And then the other improvement we had uh, is the ability to export this to uh, Tecla or any Autodesk program as well too. So here you can see um, most of this uh, staircase is actually within a quarter inch um, with some of the stringer uh, being a little bit farther out um, based on that curve being difficult to adjust. So if it was important for me to stay inside of a of a wall, I'd probably care more about the inside stringer. Um, and then I, I probably do care about the depth of those stairs just to make sure I'm code compliant as well too. So I could take an image of this um, and share with this from the shop back to the design, or I can actually export it here as an E57 or LAS. Um, then popping into uh, Tecla here, you can see I've actually brought in that E57. Um, I can start to compare that as well here to the model and see where things are moving in and out where this can really help me and this is the the full scan that was exported as well too in color is i can then use that scan data to know exactly where my tie-in parts are or my clips and uh, that can help me with the curve of actually like creating the handrail right so i have the as-built condition of the, these curved stairs but that handrail will need to be attached here later and i can get that exact curve from that scan data so thanks, and please reach out to your nearest building point representative. They can show you how to um, use this to check your fabrication, as well as collect as-built uh, data uh, on site. So you can actually start to um, design in these fabricated stairs very quickly and with only one site trip. Thanks and have a great day.